Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hey everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a front door latch on a 03 Volvo V70. If you need any parts for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. In this, for this next procedure, the window needs to be all the way up. First thing you're going to do is remove the cover to the mirror base. Just set that aside. Then we have a plastic piece here that you can see where it's split a little bit. So you just take a flathead screwdriver or a body trim tool, peel that back. And get the top, I like to put the screwdriver up here and just push like that. Set that aside. Now they have these body clips that are little push pins. See the center tab? You just take a object, a small screwdriver or a punch and push it in one step like that. Then you can take a flathead screwdriver and just pry it out a little bit. It pops right out. So I'm going to go around and do all of them. missing. Now I just grab the panel with my hand, pry it out a little bit, and all these bloody clips will pop right out. one up here. Then we have two mounting bolts that are a Torx bit, star T25. And that is beh located behind that plastic piece on the handle. We're going to take those bolts out. Sorry. Grab the panel and pull up. Once it's pulled up, you'll see the door panel. This is the cable for the inner handle. Just grab it and pull it off. It's a real nice design. Then we have a little mini tweeter speaker. and We'll just take that clip out, push down on it. Pry that out. And then we have the clip is on the back side of this main switch on this green Connect it, pull it down. The same with this gray. Pull it up. And you can see the clips. Those are the, the push pins on the back, the push clips. To remove the outside door handle, we're going to remove these two mounting screws. It's a 10 millimeter socket. And there's an access hole through the inside door panel. Once the panel's off, you can line your socket up. Break those nuts free. Next, we're going to disconnect the lock cylinder arm here. This is a little actuator that moves the latch up and down. So see how it's threaded in the plastic? So I like to take a small flathead screwdriver and I just pry it from the back side. I move the plastic clip around and I pop it right off. Now with the trim tool, try to get up underneath the actual bezel of the housing. There we go. Just pop it off. Pull down. And now we already took this rod off. That's the key lock. And now we just have to slide it off of the rod that's on the door latch. Now 
Now here you have your outside door handle with the rubber trim. And just remove this piece because you can reinstall it from the other side. That's the mounting piece. So you're going to need to remove these three bolts and their torques, and it's a T30. Set those aside. You're going to reach inside here, and there's your latch. So the, there's a clip right here for the door lock. And all it is is a plastic clip, so we're going to take my, I'm going to take my thumb and push the clip that way. You can use a flathead screwdriver. Once that's unhooked that way, just slide that right out. So in order to get the latch out, you have to remove the window guide on the outside of the door. This is riveted on. We have one rivet right here. So we're going to start with drilling that rivet out. So you to drill a, a rivet out, you take a drill bit that's the size of the inside diameter and you just drill it out. Then you can take a center punch or a cold chisel. I'm going to keep going until I break it in there. So without doing any damage to the body, just take a chisel and just give it a tap in. Now the regulator is unriveted. So now you can go to the top here and slide this guide right up from the, the glass base here. There's a, there's a guide that's part of the door panel and just move that aside like that. And now we have access to the latch. Just grab the latch, pull it forward. And now you can see the electrical connector to the actuator. So now with the latch out, can move it so now we can see the connector. We're just going to squeeze on that connector, pull up, and there's your latch. So we're going to put the latch back in. I'm going to move the harness aside, and I'm going to slide that up in between the harness and where that window guide is. Get it back in position right there. So once I put the latch back up into place, I made sure that the door rod for the outside door handle is through that opening. Now I'm going to put my mounting bolts. I'm going to start them by hand. Now with that latch mounted, I'm going to hook up the electrical connector. It's easier to hook it in while it's mounted inside and just snap it on place. So now I'm going to go from the outside where the handle, outside handle is. Now I'm going to, I can slide the outside guide back into the middle part of the door where the rubber sits. Just guide it up in there. And I can see where my, where the rivet hole lines up on the outside door here. So I can move the regulator up. So use your hand on the inside and line up the guide in the rivet hole, the old hole. Get your rivet ready and your rivet gun. Line up the regulator guide. Put your rivet in. Now we can tighten up the latch. 
I just snug them right down. They're seated style bolts. That means they have a cone shape to them, so they seat right in there. So I'm going to install the rod for the key lock first outside here. So it's just a twist. Kind of guides itself in there the way it's designed. There we go. And then I can put this end in the blue clip that you'll see down on the latch. Now I have to put that part in first. Now I have to manipulate this one on. Actually, I think it's going to go like this. There we go. Get that in there. Now we can move on the inside. Now I'm going to install the back brace of it. So on top of that door handle, you see the spring goes across and it goes up behind the spring. And then this black piece, I mean this bottom piece, goes into the black rubber piece right where it cuts out. And the rubber will wrap around that little piece that's wrapped around that sticks out. So you just put her up there and then you're going to manipulate it under that spring part and then bring it down. Now I'm going to install the two little 10 millimeter head nuts on these little studs that come out. Let's see if I can start them by hand. Good news, you can see right through these little cutout holes they provide. There we go. Now I can tighten these up. 10 millimeter socket. I'm just going to snug them back and forth until they're equal. Meanwhile, I'm going to take a gander of my handle, make sure it's still flush with the body. Perfect. So the first thing I like to do is hook up the electrical again. So here's my main power switch. I'm going to put that gray plug in the back, click it in. On both of them, the uh, push button to release it is located inward. Now I've got my cable here for the door. It's a pretty cool design the way they do this. You don't have to fish that cable into anything. Just bring it right in there and it snaps right in. Now we're going to fish the lock button through. And you've got this rail lip. Just slide that rail lip right up there, just like that. Bring it down. It's not, it's real easy. Now at this point, I like to put the mounting bolts in first. Only because I want that secure before I put the plastic clips in. This is our T25. They've got the mounting inserts of the plastic mounts in the door already. Okay, I'm going to put the bottom one on. Double check, make sure they're both equally tight. Okay. Now we can install the cover for the plastic handle. Just guide those two pins in. Push it down. Now we have all the push pins that go around. So this is what they look like when you push the in piece in. That lock clip goes out, so now you have to reverse it to put it together. So you want it to look like that. Put it right in the mounting hole and push in until it snaps once. Then just go all the way around. Last thing to go on was the first thing to go off. So you're going to line these plastic tabs up with those inserts. 
it snips, snaps right on. So now I'm going to go inside, make sure my inner handle works, make sure my lock works in my windows. Wonderful. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.